Hey everybody, welcome to Meet Firebase, where you get to meet the Googlers that make Firebase happen. My name is Doug Stevenson, and on the show with me today is Uday Bidkar. Uday, thanks for joining me on the show. Thanks for having me. What have you been working on lately? I've been working on the Android SDK of Firebase Performance Monitoring Tool. Okay, Firebase Performance Monitoring. So that's new, right? That's And it's also in beta. Yes, uh, we just recently launched it uh, in Google I.O. 2017. Yeah, and it's in beta right now. Okay, and so how does it help developers build their apps? Uh, it helps you monitor the performance of your app, as its name suggests. Like if you just integrate the SDK into your app, uh, you get to monitor how your app is performing, performing with respect to uh, the launch time, uh, the time it takes to make a particular network request, and uh, what's the size of the network request, like what's the payload size, what's the request size, response size, and everything. Okay, it sounds like this is information that developers can use to improve the perceived performance of their app. Is that right? Yes, so this SDK lets you uh, collect the data from different regions of uh, the world, how your app is performing in different regions, also on different uh, types of devices. So you know the Android world is fragmented, right? So there are different uh, configurations of the devices out, in, out there in the market. So once your app is launched in the market, you don't have any idea how it's performing on, performing on different sections. So this SDK gives you a picture how it's doing all over the world on different kind of devices. Okay, it sounds like you'll be able to uh, track down which devices are maybe performing uh, poorly and then focus on those. Sure. Or maybe even find out, it sounds like maybe some parts of the world your app might not be performing very well and so yeah. you can focus on that experience right. as well. Right. Okay, we'll have a link to that in the description below so you can check that out. So you are from India, right? Yeah. Uh, what part of India? I'm right from the center of India, Nagpur. Nagpur. Yeah. I actually just got back from India. I was in Delhi and Pune for some Firebase events. Uh, I discovered in India it's very hot. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, Nagpur is one of the hottest cities in India. Recently, I think the max temperature was about 118 degrees 118. Fahrenheit. 118. That's scorching. <laughs> <laughs> I also discovered that uh, developers are really into Android there. It seems mm -hmm. to be a very popular development platform. Right. On Android, you can get started with Windows, Ubuntu, Linux or Mac, whatever you have with you, and then you can just get started with. How did you even get into computer science? Uh, this bit of a story. I actually started with mechanical engineering in Pune University, but I flunked the first year. Oh. So to continue my education uh, with the limited educational fund my dad has set up for me, I had to go back to Nagpur, which is like less expensive than Pune. So I went back to Nagpur, but Nagpur University allowed only admissions to information technology for such students. So I had to take admission into information technology. Oh. So I was kind of forced to information technology. Right. But then I got introduced to programming and just started loving it. Okay, so you were forced into it, but you ended up, but yeah. you ended up liking it. Well, well uh, I'm, I'm glad that worked out for you. <laughs> How did you get involved with the Firebase team after that? It started about a year ago when they added a bunch of products into Firebase family. And I started experimenting with different SDKs and then fixed a couple of bugs onto their Android UI SDK. And then thought it will be interesting to work on these products uh, day in and day out. So I reached out to a couple of teams in Firebase, came across Firebase Performance Monitoring Tool, which was just getting started. And then I thought it's gonna be interesting to work on. Well, I'm glad you're on the team. I'm sure your uh, efforts are, are greatly appreciated. Also, you're a father. You have a four-year-old son, and I imagine he must be a handful. He is a handful, yeah, and every day is getting tougher. <laughs> mm. So it sounds like you have a lot going on in your life uh, with working on Firebase and having a four-year-old son, but you also play musical instruments. So I'm curious to know what you play. I started with piano, violin, Indian flute, and also harmonica. Okay. Yeah. Well, I have a harmonica here with me right now. Really? Could you show us how do you play harmonica? Because <laughs> I, I used to have one when I was a kid, and I never learned how to play. Wow. Uh, so I'd be wow. curious to know how it works. Hmm. Let's try it out. All right. Very nice. Well, thanks for that demonstration. I always felt that harmonica is kind of a unique instrument. It seems to be much simpler, and you can put it in your pocket at the end of the day. Instead yeah, of and I, I was surprised to know that it makes sound when you blow in and blow out as well. When I was a kid, I only thought that you had to just blow in. 
but then my a friend of mine taught me that you can blow out as well to make different notes. Oh, okay. So that's okay. how I. Yeah. So that's how you learn to play is through a friend. Yeah. Oh, I don't know how to find a harmonic instructor, so I guess a friend would be. You have uh, one now. Oh, now. <laughs> well, I'll get lessons from you after sure. the show. <laughs> Thank you. Now that you've been on the Firebase team for a while, what do you feel makes it special or different for you? Uh, I help other developers to make great apps. That's what excites me every single day. Uh, because my code resides on millions of devices, and then I need to be extra careful uh, not to break those devices every single day, right? Yeah, So yeah. that's pretty much exciting. Hmm. Yeah, millions of devices, and you think about, you know, all those devices on the planet, it's it's running your code in some right. way. <laughs> it is, it's a lot of pressure in one way, but I, I, I imagine uh, you appreciate the challenge. Exactly, yeah, so that's exciting. Hmm. Well, thanks for sharing that. I have one more thing for you, Uday. Uh, it's a game. Sometimes we do a game with the uh, people who I'm interviewing. And since you work in Firebase performance monitoring, I figured I'd ask you some questions about performance in computer science. I have a few questions. We'll see how many you get right. And let's get started right now. So first question, which is more efficient, inserting an element at the beginning of an array list or at the beginning of a linked list? I would say at the beginning of the linked list. The beginning of the linked list. Yeah, right. you just put that node uh, right in the front of the linked list. Right, yeah, and with an array list, you'd have to copy all the elements to the back. Okay, good job. And second question, uh, what is the big O complexity uh, for finding an element in a binary tree? In a binary tree? Yeah. Uh, it's log n. Log n. n being the number of elements in the tree. Right. All right, third question. Which sorting algorithm has n squared algorithmic complexity in the average case? And your choices are quick sort, bubble sort, and merge sort. Uh, bubble sort. Bubble sort, yeah. It seems like n squared performance is really not that great, yeah. <laughs> at least as far as sorting algorithms are concerned. They're so. better available, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's easy to implement, though. But the follow-up question to that is, what's the best case complexity for a bubble sort? Best case to be order of n. Order of n. And what's the situation there? Why would that be uh, order n? Oh, when the array is already sorted. Okay, when the, yeah, when the array is already sorted, you don't have to do so many right. comparisons. All right, good job. The last question is, which of the following does not improve the runtime performance of a hash table? Um, and your choices are pre-allocating its capacity to the number of uh, items it will contain, or using a hash algorithm with fewer collisions, or sorting the items ahead of time. You said does not, right? Does not improve, that's right. The third one. Mm -hmm, third one. So yeah, sorting the items ahead of time doesn't actually right. give you any benefits. Uh, hash, uh, hashing is pretty random, right? Yeah. <laughs> or at least you hope it's random, so sorting doesn't actually help anything. Good job, Uday. You got five out of five. I don't think anyone's ever bested one of my quizzes there, so good job with that. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. <laughs> and thank you for watching Meet Firebase. Now be sure to find out more about Firebase Crash Reporting by clicking the link in the description below. Also, don't forget to subscribe right here to the Firebase channel on YouTube to get notified of new video content that we're publishing all the time. And I'll see you next time right here on Meet Firebase.